Hi, in this video, we will see how we can update the Eclipse ID. Right now, I am using the Eclipse ID whose version has 2019-12 and inside the parenthesis 4.140. This version is there and this is Eclipse ID for Java developer. So I want to update this Eclipse. So how can we do that? So let's get started. So if you go to the uh, Eclipse website, okay. And if you go uh, from here, actually, if you go uh, to the downloads, uh, this button and then if you scroll down a little bit you will see that right now Eclipse ID 2020-12 version is there okay so I want to update uh, my software without any new installation or removing the old installation okay so now I'm closing this uh, alert window from Eclipse so just press the close button it will close and then after that we have to click help and from there uh, there is an option it is called uh, check for updates. We just need to click over there. Okay. Once we click over there, uh, you'll see it is processing something, contacting software side, uh, something, and it will be 100% and then it will give us uh, the list of the things which are uh, actually updatable. Uh, that means um, we can update uh, for our own uh, use. So we are seeing that these things are actually updatable. We can update. Uh, so for this case, what we have to do? We have to select all of them and after that uh, we have to click next once we click next then it will show this type of thing and again press the next button and then after that uh, it is showing eclipse, eclipse foundation software user agreement we must have to agree so we have to click i accept the terms of the license agreement and then finally click on finish button to start the update and it will take some time and here you will see uh, how much is complete so updating software okay right now we are seeing 21 percent 36 percent in this way it will be 100 percent when the 100 percent will complete then uh, we can check again uh, the version of our eclipse and then we can understand whether it is really able to update it or not so let's wait until it finish 100 percent and then we'll check so during this update process, sometimes you might get this type of thing that Eclipse Foundation, this is this, this thing. To uh, trust these certificates, uh, we have to uh, select all. And then after that, we have to uh, press this accept selected. Otherwise, you cannot uh, actually install the updates. Sometimes it might pop up. Like for me, it came this type of pop up. And if you find this type of thing, you have to do this thing. Okay. And uh, once the installation, I mean, the update is finished, uh, for this Eclipse, uh, then you will get this type of uh, window like restart Eclipse ID to apply the software update. Okay, so you can uh, you have basically two options no or restart now. If you restart now, it will close the Eclipse and then it will reopen the uh, Eclipse. And over there, uh, you will find the latest version of Eclipse. So let's try whether it is really uh, able to do that or not. So I'm going to hit restart now. Once I restart now, button pressed then it will take some time like few seconds to few minutes based on your computer performance and the eclipse will be, window will be open shortly so once you finished updating and it restarts eclipse uh, you will see this type of thing you can actually accept cookies or i'm going to decline i don't need that okay then after that we, let's see whether it is really able to update it or not so i'm going to click eclipse and then about eclipse this option once I click over there and then it will open this thing and here you will see that uh, it is updated. Previously it was 2019. Now we are seeing 2020-12 which is the latest version. Okay. So in this way guys you can easily update uh, Eclipse graphically. Uh, you, you, there is no other steps. It's very simple and easy. Hopefully by watching this video you are able to update it. And if this video is helpful uh, please consider like the video and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.